In this video, in this training video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, the, a live scanning process using trios. I'm going to scan myself, full arch, scan the lower, scan the upper, and scan the two together in occlusion. And during this video, I hope to illustrate the preferred scan strategy and also some of the key points that we'd watch out for in terms of using the tip to provide some retraction and so on, and also some techniques that we apply in order to minimize the chance of capturing some soft tissue like cheeks and lips and, and tongue and perhaps some globe as well. So I'm going to start off from an occlusal surface at the posterior region on my left hand side, sweep across occlusally and as I get to the anterior region I want you to notice I pull my lip away to provide some retraction. I'll also try and rock the scanner slightly as I go around the anterior region and then we'll move into the posterior region on the opposite side. Then we'll Roll over lingual, sweeping the lingual surface. I'll keep the scanner nice and deep within the floor to avoid scanning over the tooth to capture cheek or uh, and avoid capturing cheek and lip. And when we get to the other side, I'll roll over buckle again, keeping nice and low, capturing of course the crown detail, but also some uh, gingiva as well, and trying to avoid scanning over the tooth and scanning tongue. I'm going to try and be as relaxed as possible. I am not going to, I'm going to try and avoid using moving my tongue intensely and, and try and simulate a real patient um, scanning uh, exercise. So let's start. Captured a really nice scan, a little bit of excessive cheek on my right premolar. Let's go in so we can see that strand about here. We also see some, some cheek there, but that's not for us to worry about. We can, of course, go in and trim that because it's not sitting on a, on a tooth. It's not going to cause us any issue. Let's remove that patch. Click done. I'll we'll just go in and capture that. Um, this, if we rescan over that surface there, the software will then automatically eliminate that little bit of detail. So we have a total time, one minute and three seconds. So what I'd like to do is demonstrate some of the things we want to, what not to do. So we have a good scan. This scan is finished, but very often we see that some people will, uh, particularly in the early stages, they'll rescan a particular area, perhaps unnecessarily, and in doing so, capture some additional scan, um, some additional scan detail, which could be soft tissue, which could lead to, best case, they need to manually trim it out using the, um, using the tools within the software, or worst case, having to delete it out, delete out part of the tooth as well, and rescan that area. So with guns, good scan strategy, we should minimize the risk of capturing any soft tissue, and therefore get to a point where we've got a good clean scan like this, without having to interact with man manually with the software. So one common problem is scanning over the molar onto the tongue. So let me simulate that. I'll just scan my left hand side buccal segment. And what I want you to try and observe is the image here. We'll see the actual positioning 
and uh, positioning of the scanner within the mouth and see what we're actually capturing and what, what the scanner is actually seeing and then we'll see of course what we what the scanner captures. So what did we see? We saw my positioning was good and I moved down into the floor a little bit then I moved up and started scanning onto the top and we managed to capture, albeit a small amount, we did capture some tongue. It's not attached to any of the teeth, so it's not a problem. And it's more than likely at this point, because we've got a full scan with all surfaces captured, the software has recognized this additional detail as being something that perhaps shouldn't be there, so it didn't, didn't quite capture it. Let's go around the anterior region, and let's scan accidentally, um, scan, some, scan some lip. Quite careless. We have now got some lip that's attached. Is it attached? Perhaps a tiny bit there. It's attached to the scan. I've captured some lip. I didn't need to go back in and scan that area, but it's something that, that can happen. So we always want to be careful that we don't over scan um, a, a, a particular case. Or if we do need to go back in, that we provide some retraction and make sure we don't capture any lip, cheek, tongue finger, mirror, retractor, whatever we may be whatever we may be using. So let's see what we can do there. If we go to the trim tool and all patches. Yeah, we're okay. We're good there. But you can see that there's a risk that we could have captured that additional detail undesirably. Now let's look from a lingual perspective as we scan in the molar tooth. Again our positioning may uh, incur a scan of, of the cheek. So again, I was trying to illustrate there as I was scanning that we're, we were, I was scanning too high. I was scanning above the surface of the tooth across the surface, across the occlusal surface, and onto the cheek. And you can see where, see how we've captured it here. So, let's see. If we use the trim tool, does the software regard that as a patch? And thankfully, again, it does. But you can see these are all interactions with the software that I'd rather not have to do. Now, if we look at the scan, just notice that we are missing some lingual detail there on the seven. So this is an example where we may have to go back into the scan, capture a little bit more information. We've got a really good scan, but there's a risk that it, without due care that we could capture some additional detail, which could make it a little bit tricky. And there we go. We captured what we need. Now we'll rotate the tip. And we'll scan the upper arch. Again, same type of strategy, making sure we relieve soft tissue um, as much as possible. And we only capture and scan and position the scanner exactly where we want it to be so that we, we don't capture anything undesirable. I we'll also want you to notice the strategy I'm using just to provide some stability. I'm not just holding the scanner with one hand, I'm also providing some stability, perhaps it's just a little finger, perhaps it's a knuckle that the scanner is resting against. That's just providing that extra little st uh, level of stability, which means that we don't have to focus on what's going on in the patient's mouth, we can focus on what's going on in the screen. Very, very important that we, we come up with a, a strategy to allow us to do that. One thing, I just not, uh, one thing I notice sometimes when people start using the scanner, first thing they do, put the finger in to pull the cheek out of the way, and then put the scanner in. And now we've got two objects in the patient's mouth unnecessarily. Let the tip do the work. There's no need for the finger to be in place.
And there we go. Okay, so it's quite useful exercise because we have a little bit of miss, uh, missing detail here in the proximal surface of my canine. So let's go back in and attempt to capture that. And there's two approaches we can apply for this. We can approach it, a approach the surface from a frontal aspect and tilt backwards, which we may or may not may or may not allow us to capture everything we need there. Obviously, again, we need to be conscious of the patient and making sure it's a comfortable experience for the patient without rising their their jaw open. Another approach is to approach from the side and then rotate and that'll be a much more comfortable um, experience for everybody. So I think we'll, we'll start with that. So what I'm going to do, my, my strategy, is to start with an occlusal scan, position myself occlusally on that six, get into position, rotate the scanner, tilt it back and bang, within a couple of seconds we'll have the information we need. And then finally, the occlusal scan. So the software gives us some pointers to work with. So the software is requesting that we scan the right-hand side first, and then it will automatically request we scan the left-hand side, which is perfectly fine if we're scanning full arch. If we're scanning a quadrant, and for example, we're only scanning the left-hand side, we can just go straight in and scan that. The software is intelligent enough to understand the, the information it has, the new information being provided, and then attempts to, st to stitch everything together. So, what we want to avoid doing, again, is making life uncomfortable for the patient. So, if possible, and if the patient has a, a reliable bite and we can assess the bite, have the patient open, put the scanner in place, and then start scanning. Rather than have the patient bite, and then try to insert the scanner. It's okay, it works, but in terms of the two options, the, the, the former is a bit more comfortable for the patient. scanned across both arches at the same time, maybe three or four units, then I moved up, scanned a bit more, moved down, scanned a bit more, and when the teeth snap together, that's the point when we're happy uh, with that scan, with the scan on, on the right side. Generally speaking, we don't like to spend any more than maybe 12 seconds or so um, scanning. In this case, I've only scanned uh, for nine seconds. If the software hasn't automatically aligned the arches within this period of time, we should stop scanning and then we go through a manual alignment um, process. The software is now ready for us just to go straight in and scan the you know, opposite side. assessment of the case. We're happy with the bite. It's always a good good practice to just check the bite, double check the bite before moving on. One thing that we should watch out for is that occasionally we'll get soft tissue building up if it's a case that we've captured some cheek or tongue again or even some lip and if that sits on the surface that can often cause the arches to separate out. So in order to uh, eliminate that make sure that we've trimmed away any excessive um, tissue that's there and it perhaps shouldn't be there. So I hope you found this, uh, this scanning process useful. I hope you learned a couple of new tricks and tips. No cheek retraction. I let the scanner do all the work.